Good morning, GMS. I'm Sky. And I'm Aubrey. Welcome to the GMS News Show for the week of February 28, 2022. Lots of mid-state competitions are this week. Make sure to cheer on the GMS athletes. However, if you have two or more Fs in power school, you cannot participate or attend any sporting events. If you are interested in playing any sport, please make sure you have your physical on file. Make sure if you are quarantined to keep up with your work on Canvas. If you have any questions, you can message your teachers on Canvas. Make sure to bring your own water bottle to school instead of drinking out of a friend's water. Track will start Monday, March 7th. Make sure you have a physical on file in the athletic office. Students with two or more Fs are not allowed to participate in track or any other GMS sport. Now let's go to the interview, fun facts, the GMS sports update. Have a great week, week everybody, and remember to stay safe. I'm Savannah, I'm in seventh grade, and I'm going to give some tips on how to really bump up your grades. So one of the most important things you should do is use your planner. Many people are like, oh, I'll just remember that tonight, or I'll just push that off. Don't. I've re Last semester, I had two Fs, and honestly, I wasn't proud of it. You should not be proud if you have any Fs, really. And so I started using my planner a lot more, and it helped. My grades have gone, they've boosted a lot. And that's one of the most important things you should do. Your teacher does tell you your planner is important. They're not lying. They're trying to help you out. If you don't have good grades and you don't use your planner, I recommend using it. That's one of the best things you can do. One of tip number two, routine. I recommend getting into a good routine. Like say you go home and you start making a routine to where you go straight to homework. You'll do something. If you struggle a bit, you can take a break. Just don't take too long of a break because then you'll start procrastinating and push it off and be like, oh, I'll just do that later and just keep watching my YouTube or Netflix or whatever, or you'll keep scrolling on TikTok. I know it's hard not to do, but procrastinating is one of the worst things to ever do because I did that and I wouldn't do it and I would realize right when I'm about to go to bed, oh, dang. I didn't do that homework. Eh, I'll just do it tomorrow and turn it in for late credit. Late credit, yeah, you do get credit, but you could have gotten full credit for getting it done. Um, third tip, which I kind of was just talking about put, and putting into that, procrastinating. It is so hard to not procrastinate. I know, I know. And TikTok, it's one of the worst things. I recommend, like, I know you wouldn't like this, but maybe try having your parents take your phone or whatever, your tablet, take anything away that you don't need for homework. Have them use it, well not use it, have them keep it away from you until you show them you have your homework done. Because then you can't procrastinate it. You have nothing to use to procrastinate. Procrastination is one of the worst things ever. I know, it's hard to not procrastinate, but you cannot procrastinate your work. It pushes it off, you just, your brain just pushes it off. If your brain pushes it off once, it'll keep going. And then you will not, you'll probably just not have any of your homework in, turned in. That's what it turns out to be. And no one wants that. Your teachers don't want that. Your teachers want to help you. And one of the ways they can't help you by is, they, it's not like they can go to your house and be like, all right, you gotta work on this. You gotta do that yourself. And yeah, sometimes your parents are at work or whatever. If you need help, just stop doing that, especially if you're getting stressed and overwhelmed because you can't get it done because you're struggling with it. Push that aside. Work on something else. If you have nothing else to do, read a book. Do something productive. Don't just start scrolling on TikTok because when your parents get home from work or whatever, you're just gonna keep scrolling and you'll forget about that. You will forget and that's not good to do. 
And I have one other thing to say. In math, my teacher is Mr. Esterlein, and he tells us to use our notebooks because it'll help. I started struggling with some stuff because I wasn't using my notebook. I was doing it in my head. Don't do it in your head. I start. I use my notebook on my quiz that we did yesterday, and I got an A+. Plus. I got 100%. Use your notebook if in any class, not just math. If in any class a teacher tells you, use your notebook, use it. Trust me, it helps you so much. And people don't realize that if your teacher if her teacher's like, oh, I recommend using this or using that or have this to help you. People are like, oh, they're just recommending that. I don't have to use that. I don't have to do that. They're helping you. <laughs> Barely anybody realizes it. They're helping you out. And if you don't do what they recommend, then you're probably not going to do so well. Hello, welcome to the Jackson and Jackson Facts Show. We're the Jacksons and we'll say some facts. The Hawaiian alphabet only has 12 letters. The tongue is the fastest healing part of the human body. At birth, a Dalmatian is always pure white. The king of hearts is the only king without a mustache. Norway once knighted a penguin. Tennis was originally played with bare hands. A lemon contains more sugar than a strawberry. OMG was added to the dictionary in 2011, but for, was first known in 1917. That's all for Jackson's Fact Show. Have a great week, GMS. Welcome to sports. I'm Avery. On Monday, February 28th, 7th grade girls basketball first round mid-state versus Decatur at home at 5.30 p.m. 8th grade girls basketball first round mid-state versus Decatur at home at 6.45 p.m. On Tuesday, March 1st, 7th grade girls basketball mid-state round 2, 2 to be determined at 5.30 p.m. Middle school wrestling versus Paul Hadley middle, at the middle school at home at 5.30 p.m. Middle school wrestling versus Center Grove Central at home at 6.30 p.m. 8th grade girls basketball mid-state round 2 at 2 to be determined at 6.45 p.m. Then on Wednesday, March 2nd, mi Middle School Wrestling at Beach Grove at 5 o'clock p.m. Middle School Mid-State Diving at 2 to be determined at 5.30 p.m. Then Thursday, March 3rd, 7th grade ba girls basketball Mid-State Finals at 2, be 2 to be determined at 5.30 p.m. Middle School Mid-State Swimming at 2 to be determined at 5.30 p.m. 8th grade girls basketball Mid-State Finals at 2 to be determined at 6.45 p.m. Then on Friday, March 4th, 4th, Middle School Wrestling County Tournament at home at 5.30 p.m.